Hey everybody, we're at New Smyrna Beach and we're gonna be doing some light tackle shark fishing today. I got a frozen whiting head on there to start out. We're using our eight foot Shimano Terramar and our Quantum Cabo 80. Even though the rod's only eight foot, I got a 10 foot leader, two and a half foot of 480 cable and seven and a half foot of 60 pound twisted mono. And the wife's gonna be doing the shark fishing. So now we need to get one. All right, we're on. We think, is he on there? Okay, I think he's a black nose. It's kind of hard for me to tell when we're using the Terramar, but... The bluefish were tapping at that whiting head. Hold on, let me get the leader. Don't try to drag him up. Be a little sharp, though, sharp. Wow, I thought he was a little sharp. Get the whiting. rod down over there that one pull the baggie out okay I'm surprised he was that small but right now we'll take whatever we can get well at least you got something we're not used to catching the little tiny ones like that <laughs> I'm putting that whiting head I hooked it through the top of the head there's hardly nothing left of it but she hasn't caught anything. We've been here an hour and a half. She's only got some tiny bites. I got a bigger whiting head. I'm gonna save that for high tide, which is in about an hour. Hopefully she'll get something before then. She's finally got something, hopefully. We've been trying to catch some tiny, tiny sand fleas. What do we got? What is it? Oh, it's a mohara. Hold it up by the leader. Maybe that one's dumb the mohara. It's the ocean it's shiner. The shiners of the ocean. Wow, that thing's going on there. I might put his head or just a little chunk. Let's see. We've been here for over two hours. We got about 20 minutes to high tide. Now we got some good shark bait. Okay, here's the little piece of the Mahara. That's perfect for that uh, 110L204 circle hook for the black nose and even the black tips. That's, that's high percentage. If something grabs it, it should get hooked. Let's find out. All right, it's high tide right now. We've been here. About three hours, we got the little Mohara, and this is the setup. I got the Terramar and the Cabo 80 on the left. That's the shark rod for today, maybe even a talking rod. And then she's on the right with the little star rod with her pin reel. I was going to put the big teak out. The heat index is about 105 right now, and it's not even 10.30 in the morning. So I'm not gonna put a second rod out, even though we kinda got bait. 
because we'll be running around like in the tarpon video and get a damn heat stroke or something. So we're gonna stay as long as our water holds out. And amazingly, there's not a single person at the beach. I guess they're all down at the drive on. Anyway, it's time to get back under the umbrella. Well, I showed you the piece of Mohara. It looked perfect. That's what it was. They were tapping on it. So there it is after they chewed on it. It could be the little shark nose sharks or the bluefish. So now I'm going to put uh, the frozen whiting head on and see if she can catch me a little whiting here and I'll put a double hook for it. Go ahead, tighten the drag up a little bit. Yeah. I think we got another little shark nose shark chewing on the whiting head I just put on there. Is it on there? If it is, it's another little shark nose shark. I don't think we hooked the bluefish on the uh, 11-0 L204. <laughs> Here, hold him up. Right above the red. There you go. <laughs> okay. It's it's tiny baby shark day today. Okay, let it down. I'll take it off and uh, you can throw your little baby shark out there. Okay, I'm putting the one of our double eight oh rigs. I've been talking about it the past two trips. It's got it's 25 inches of 480 cable and 280 Gamagatsu 4X strong. The black tips will straighten those out, but I don't think they do it on this rod. But we're after the black nose sharks, and I guess the sharp nose out there. And we're using the two little pieces of the Mohara, which I really don't like that as bait. I already cut my hand on its gills. And that's how we're gonna close out the day. If she ever gets me a whiting, I'm definitely switching out to the whiting. I think she's got another shark nose. They've been chewing on them pieces of the Mohara. Well, without the sand fleas, we can't catch anything. She's got a few in the bottle. Once we get done with uh, whatever's happening here, maybe we can get a whiting. Uh, I, I bet you those pieces are gone. They were pretty ripped up. See, the thing with the double hook rig, they might have took the bottom bait or the top bait, but one of the, one of the baits might still be on there. Most likely both of them's gone. Okay, reel it in. Let's see what the bait looks like. I bet there's nothing on there. Show them. It's just so many <laughs> There's a tiny piece of skin on the bottom hook. Okay. Well, now we don't have any bait till she catches something. You got one? Oh, man. A tiny, tiny pompano. I thought that was a spot we're using that for bait. We're not going to use a little tiny pompano. And the wind is picking up. The, the umbrella is not going to last much longer. And even though the wind's coming off the ocean, it's still really hot out here. All right, let it go. Two little sharp nosed sharks, a mohara, and a tiny, tiny pompano. It is what it is. 
All right, we're wrapping it up. Unless he catches the whiting and I bring the whiting head home. Other than that, we're leaving. We caught the two sharp-nosed sharks, but that was about it. 